So let's take a look at another one of our parent functions dealing with logarithms. And so that's f of x is equal to log with the base 1 half of x. Think about the key points we talked about before. Your key points are the ones you need to memorize. That will be 1 over a, negative 1, 1, 0, a, 1. These are your key points, which means for me, since my a is 1 half, what are my key points? Remember, this a. indicates reciprocal. So 2 comma negative 1. 1, 0 is just going to be 1, 0. And A, 1 is going to be what? One half. Yeah, yeah, 1, one one half, half 1. Because your A is your base, which is 1 half. Plot these points. Well, I know that I've got my vertical asymptote right here. I've got 2, negative 1. I've got 1, 0 and 1 half 1. So what's going on here? They're getting closer to the positive y. The further up I go, the closer they're getting. But the f when I go down, what are they doing? So look here. This is a distance of 1 half, a distance of 1, a distance of 2, then what? Four. Distance of 4, and then? Eight. And then 8. So it's just like the other guy, except he's been flipped how? Look at what we had for the, the other logarithmic function with a base 2. Notice how this guy was going up and over to the right, but this guy's going down and to the right. So it's the same thing as this, but I've just done what? I flipped it upside down. Yeah. So let's see how that compares to what the computer graphed for us. And yeah, there you go. Now it's kind of hard to see. You may think that it's stopping right here, but this guy is going to keep going on, getting closer and closer to that y-axis. Again, we have limitations when it comes to graphing things and you know, using the computer.